Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a Terraria Let's Play video. Another video inside of Stampy's wonderful world, and today in this video, I am being joined by almost, as always, Elfa Lee. Uh, he wasn't here last video, but he's made a triumphant return. And I'm also being joined by St Shadow and Frog Angel, uh, who are currently hard at work uh, building uh, what we're going to be building today. Uh, you remember in the last video, if you saw it, and if you didn't see it, you won't remember it unless you're psychic. Uh, yeah, we were building this room down here, which is going to be a inside garden. And I wasn't sure what to use as a uh, back wall, uh, but then luckily, uh, Frog Angel over here came to my rescue and said, You know what, Stampy? Uh, in my world, I got a dungeon which has green walls in the background. And I was like, green walls? Jolly good. And she's like, yeah. <laughs> so she's come here and she's donated. I think she's got some on her. But yeah, you see this chest here? It's uh, full of loads of green brick walls. And seeing as it's uh, going to be an inside garden, uh, it seemed to be the uh, the perfect colour uh, for the, uh, the backdrop here. And so yeah, what I'm going to be doing in this video is basically finishing this room. Off. I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be gardening. I'm going to be gardening inside, which is uh, something which I'm certainly not used to. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be planting a load of trees and flowers. And as you can see here, I've got um, yeah, I got a load of flowers. I've got some day blooms. What else have I got? I've got some acorns to plant some trees. Uh, what else have I got? I got some sunflower seeds. I got some. I think these are vile mushrooms. Yeah, I got some vile mushrooms. <laughs> I'm just going to try and do a whole load of like every different plant that I can do and just completely pack it full of all different uh, bright and colourful things. I've got some blink roots. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if all of this stuff is plantable, but I'm going to plant as many as I can. I've got some, was that moon glow or something that is? Yeah, some moon glow seeds and some moon glow flowers. And I can actually make some, some plant plots as well. Uh, I can put some cactuses down. Uh, I think they might have to be on sand though. Uh, I got nature's gift. Uh, I, think, I think that's a, like a, a weapon or something. Um, equipable. Um, can I, like, have it up here or somewhere? Is it, do I wear it? Well, oh, I, I can put it on, I think. Um, or, may, or maybe I need to put it on over here for it to be work. Uh, I think it actually, like, improves my mana or something. 6% reduced mana usage. Uh, Materialable equipable. I'm going to leave that there. I'm not entirely sure what it is, but I've got some vines also. And um, what else have we got in here? My, my little chest full of plants <laughs> uh, i got a water leaf i got uh, some more day bloom seeds so yeah i got all sorts of stuff here which i've been uh, collecting up for ages so i'm gonna go down and uh, plant as much of it as i can i know there's some stuff that needs to to be on like mud rather than dirt and i think the cactus has to be on sand and i've only got one sand block so hopefully uh, that'll be okay uh, so i'm gonna grab some uh, some mud as well because i think some stuff needs to be mud uh, but the first thing i want to do uh, as quick as i can is go and plant my first acorn uh, because that's going to be the the most important thing uh, because that is where I'm going to build my tree house and uh, so it's going to be in an actual real tree so hopefully it'll let me plant it even though we're inside oh is it not going to let me oh maybe oh there we go yeah there we go so that started growing so hopefully this will grow into a tree uh, as long as no one cuts it down hopefully it will grow all the way up here and then at the top of it uh, I'm going to build my room which is going to be in the tree and look at Lee desperately trying to get my attention I believe he's got uh, another joke for me uh, we've got a new tradition where uh, every video someone puts down a joke for me so let's see what uh, Lee's joke is when is cake like a golf ball uh, when it's really small round and white maybe not uh, when it's been sliced <laughs> oh dear I'm not entirely sure if that's uh, better or worse than the last week <laughs> so should we have a competition that's Lee's joke if everyone else puts down a joke as well on a sign uh, we're going to have a competition uh, for who can do the funniest joke just make sure it's clean though <laughs> right so let's see if I can put a cactus down I want to have a cactus somewhere if I can put a, a sand block uh, down here uh, will it be able to grow straight out of it? I'm not entirely sure how it works in Terraria. I've literally only got one sand block because I made all of the rest out of glass. Uh, is it going to let me put it down? Oh, it's not letting me. Maybe there, I think there might need to be a bit more sand either side of it. So uh, I don't think I can put any cactuses down. What about moon glows? Is it going to let me put a moon glow down anywhere? Can I plonk these down? Um, do, do they have to be on mud maybe? I might have a, um, I might do like a, like a flower bed. Uh, maybe like, um, I'm not entirely sure where to do it. Like, there's quite a lot of room all high up. I might have like a, a flower bed which is kind of up higher, you know. But I want my treehouse to be quite big. I might just do like a little patch of mud uh, around by here. And so all of the uh, the flowers that need uh, mud to grow, I can put them all down here. I know that to, to grow like a jungle, uh, it needs to be down on like mud. So if you have like jungle seeds, uh, that needs to be uh, put down on mud rather than dirt. Oh no, still not let me put it down. Um, what happens if I try and plant some seeds? Can I plant some moon glow seeds? I put some down there. Um, oh no, that's I've not got them ready. 
Does it let me put them down? I can't seem to be able to, to put them down anywhere. Not on the, the mud either. Maybe there's some sort of other material I've got to put them down. Am I going to be able to grow anything this video? <laughs> this is, I'm like the world's worst gardener. Right, can I do day bloom seed? Are they going to let me put them down on anything? Maybe not. Maybe I need to go and make a, a whole load of plant pots. I'm not entirely sure how you made them. I think you use, um, is it clay you need uh, in order to make a plant pot? Uh, let me go down here and have a, um, a look in my chest and let's see what materials I've got on me. Uh, do I have clay? There we go. I've got some clay here. Hopefully uh, I can use this to make a, a whole load of plant pots and then, uh, yeah, we'll have some flowers. All I've done is planted an acorn so far, so that's uh, not very good going. And uh, whereabouts are plant pots? Are they down over on this side somewhere? Uh, down here, I guess. Uh, are they in the first section? Uh, there they go. There we go. Uh, clay pot. Is that what I've got to use? Oh, I need to be in front of the uh, the furnace, I think. And is that the one that I'm after? There's not like a separate like flower plot, is there? No, I think I just need uh, a whole load of uh, clay pots. And then if I spread these all over the place, then hopefully uh, things will be able to, to grow out of them. So I'm just going to scatter them all over the place, do them randomly. Like, I can rearrange things later if, like... I'm doing something big. I think sunflowers. I should be able to put sunflowers down. If not anything else, hopefully uh, I will be able to, to spread some, some sunflowers all over the place. <laughs> and people are doing a really good job doing the background wall. It's really hard when, like, you're trying to place blocks in the middle of nowhere. But they've done some really good progress so far. Like, as I started the video, there's pre pretty much, like, none done there. Right, can I put the moon glow in there? Or, like, the day bloom seeds? Oh, there we go, there we go. I've, I've managed to actually plant something. Uh, so I've planted some day blooms. Uh, can I plant a blink root? Can I put these down anywhere? Uh, can these go on the grass? Oh, there we go. These can grow on the uh, the actual floor, I think. Yeah, there we go. And I put one in the, the flower plot. There we go. I'm going to have some some plants after all. And uh, I've got some other stuff. So I've got some, some moon glow. Uh, let's see if I can go and plant uh, some of these in some of these pots up here. Is it going to actually go in? There we go. Uh, so I think I just need to hold it directly above it. There we go. I finally got a, uh, a few things growing. <laughs> right, I'm going to quickly go down here because I believe that uh, people have carried on writing their jokes. I'm not sure which is which. Uh, okay, that's Lee's joke there. Um, I, I guess these ones are, are still in progress, so uh, I'm going to leave them and let them load in. You need to you need to stand next to whichever sign you wrote, just so um, I know who did what. And I'm going to go up here and I'm going to grab uh, a bunch of this uh, wall, so I can go and uh, help do a bit of the background. What I really need is that that acorn to grow like as quickly as it can, because uh, then that way I'll be able to uh, start building my my house proper, you know. And there's water leaf. Like, is there any way to transport water? Can you put like water in a bucket or anything? Because that'd be really cool. Imagine having like a mini lake inside here. I just can't wait until I've got my uh, I've got my my tree house in here. I just love the idea of having a tree and inside the tree having another tree with a house in it. You know, it's like <laughs> endless houses and trees. I think will be absolutely awesome. But uh, the green the green looks okay. It doesn't look very green. It looks more green when you see it in a chest. But uh, I think that if we put a, a bunch of green torches all over the room as well, we should help it look even more green. <laughs> and it looks so ridiculous. You can see us all there just jumping up and down using our rock rocket boots and stuff and there's Bluey behind me just joining in. He's not actually helping but he's just seen all of us jumping up and down. He's decided to join in you know. I feel like we should be listening to music or something you know like some sort of tribal music and we're all jumping up and down like this together. <laughs> it's certainly a fun way to build like it would probably be, uh, be more effective just to, to build a little platform about halfway up and just uh, stand there and start filling in all of the gaps but uh, I think this is the, uh, the more amusing way to do it. <laughs> and once it's um, completely filled in and then this should be counted as a room uh, because as it was uh, because there was no backdrop I think it was counted as outside and uh, that's why all of the other uh, googlies were spawning in there and which flower is this that's a pretty flower down there I can't remember what it was called I can't remember what I planted I just sort of threw everything down right let's see what the other uh, jokes are here then uh, what do you call a fake noodle I don't know what do you call a fake noodle an impasta <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> it doesn't even matter that noodles aren't even a type of pasta. It's still a funny joke. <laughs> right, what else can I plant down? I could just do some some more trees around the place anyway. And so this is going to be my main tree in the middle here up to my room. But I'll plant a few more trees around the outside as well. And uh, I can do some, uh, some vines maybe. Uh, I don't know how these work. This is a good way of learning because I actually knew... Uh, nothing about all of like the planting stuff like I didn't know how any of it works so at least I can uh, be kind of learning um I don't know what to do with vines I don't know can they actually be placed it just says material I think a lot of this stuff is just um uh, like 
like to use to craft things. Uh, I think most of it can't be placed. I'm going to get rid of this mud actually because uh, I don't actually really think that I uh, I needed the mud. No, no, I got rid of that pretty plant. And that was that was the prettiest plant I have. And I accidentally destroyed it. I'm going to have to go and try and make sure I uh, put that back down. And what else could I put in here then? Can you get any like bushes or anything in here? I'm not entirely sure how it works. It won't let me put down sunflowers either. I don't know whether it's because it now counts it as inside. Maybe I, I can't put them down anymore. Does it have to be on grass? Like, I, I know I, I can put sunflowers down on dirt because um, I did it outside, but it's not letting me put them down. What about if I try doing it um, inside of a, a, a clay plot? I need to have sunflowers. They're like probably the prettiest flowers you can get. Can I put them inside the clay plot? Oh no, I think I just planted something else down there. <laughs> you can see me there just waving the, the sunflower around like, like crazy. Maybe if I get rid of a bit of the background for a bit and uh, then put it down. If I get rid of a bit more, maybe like I don't, I don't know why it wouldn't let me me plant it down here. I don't know what the um the requirements are because it lets me do it when I'm outside. Maybe I'm too high or something. Okay, well I'm not entirely sure what to do. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to leave this room uh, because I don't really know what else to plant. I don't really know what what else I got I could use, and uh, I'm going to go and do something else for a little bit, and then um, yeah, once I once I know about more plants that I can place down, uh, I'm going to go and do that. And oh, I went to place a mushroom, but I accidentally just ate it. Uh, so yeah, please do leave any suggestions if you got uh, ideas for other plants that I could put down here or things that I can build. And uh, then in the next video, once this tree uh, has had time to grow, uh, I'm going to come back in here and build a. Uh, a little tree house inside and it looks like we got another joke uh, i think this uh might be frog angel's joke uh oh it's all in capitals i need to shout what happened to the peanut when he crossed the road he got assaulted <laughs> oh dear what happened to the peanut when he went outside he was a chili peanut <laughs> oh dear oh dear <laughs> oh dear well what happened to the um uh, to the... Oh, I was going to say another peanut joke. I think it's time to, to move on from the, the peanut jokes. Right, I don't really know what to do now. Like, I kind of plan to, to keep building that for the um, the rest of the video. Um, but I don't know. I don't really know what else it is that I could do there. What I might do is um, get rid of a few of my stuff and go and gather up a bit of sand uh, just to see if I can put some cactuses down. And so I know I've only just put all of this in my inventory, but I'm going to go and dump a bit of this uh, just so that way I can see if I can place the cactuses uh, because uh, I don't I don't really know if um uh, any of my my terraria helpers uh, know about uh, how I could plant like things like sunflower seeds or any other plants and wants to uh, do a bit of gardening while I'm away uh, maybe I could come back and be surprised and the place will look like a an inside jungle but I'm not entirely sure what to do and hello Bowen how are you doing down there I thought that was a sign there's a sign there just saying Bowen <laughs> I love the way the Bowen just there looks lazy should I try and get his should I try and get his head central do you reckon if I put it like right in the middle I'll be able to sort that out because I don't know it looks quite painful if I if I break it Oh, his head's gone! I've knocked his head off! Oh, Bowen! Bowen's head just went off and just went into the snowman! Oh, snow! Bowen's lost his head! <laughs> I'm gonna have to give him a new head. What can I? What can I make his new head out of? Um. Okay, I, I think I might do it out of some mud. If I do it like this, <laughs> and I need to give him some some different coloured eyes. Uh, I don't really have much on me. I could go. He can give him some green eyes. Uh, maybe like um, oh oh this is background wall. Uh, let me go and try and get a material. Oh, actually, that's okay. There we go. There's there's Bowen's new head. <laughs> maybe just every few videos uh, I could go back to Bowen and just just give him a new head just for fun, you know. <laughs> oh, I can't believe that. I didn't know. Like I guess the boulders can like roll around and stuff. I was only trying to straighten his head and I accidentally knocked it off. I'm sorry, Bowen. I don't think he minds though. I, I don't think he's okay. I mean, he's not going to lose his head over it or anything. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to very quickly do. And I head over to my desert, uh, gather up a bit of sand, and then I'm going to put that down, and hopefully uh, the, the cactus will be able to grow uh, grow off it. Uh, but I can just magic mirror back, so it won't take too long. And I got my uh, my special, what are they called, like Hermes boots, I think they're called. I got my, no, Spectre boots, I think they might be called. Uh, actually, I'm not sure, I can't remember. I know you use, you either use Spectre boots to make Hermes boots, or the, uh, the other way around. But uh, basically, they make it so that uh, once I run for like a certain amount of time, I get like a, a special speed boost. And it makes things uh, a hell of a lot easier when I'm trying to uh, travel a a long distance like this and so yeah I'm just gonna go gather up a, a bit more sand and uh, then yeah head back home and then once I've 
uh, finished my inside uh, jungle, uh, or well, my inside garden. Uh, I'm, oh no, it looks like uh, LT, uh, ST Shadow uh, accidentally got taken out there. Well, uh, died from full damage. Uh, so yeah, what I'm going to do once I've finished my inside garden is I'm going to go mining again. Well, I'm not entirely sure. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick an item or like a weapon or something that I really want. And I'm just going to uh, try and work out um, how to get it. So uh, if you've got any recommendations for um, uh, weapons or like a special type of armor or something you think I should go for, oh uh, yeah, please do leave them as a comment down below and uh, yeah I'm gonna go and uh, hunt after them because uh, I've really enjoyed actually um, building in my hotel and it's nice seeing my hotel actually uh, beginning to take shape but I don't know I feel like it's it's time for another adventure I want to go and face another boss or I don't know or just go to um, a new exciting land I don't know just as a as a bit of a change you know because uh, I do want to get my my hotel finished and I still got uh, quite a lot more rooms to, to add to it but uh, I feel like it's time for me to to venture back down under the mines and uh, sort of exploring because uh, I still feel like there's a whole load of ores and uh, different like um, enemies and ores and all sorts of things like down under the ground which I still uh, have no idea about so I do definitely want to go and uh, have a hunt for some of them. I just want to find a good place to get some sand. I guess if I go uh, right to the top up here like I can get rid of, here we go, if I can just get rid of this block here. Like I don't need too much I mean it's always good just to have a bit of sand just in case I need to make any more glass or anything in the future but uh, for what I'm doing in this video it doesn't really matter too much so if I just gather up a bit of sand from here and uh, maybe get this bit as well just to, to make it all even and then as I said I can just magic mirror back so you don't have to uh, worry about having to see me trek the entire way back and uh, yeah hopefully uh, they might have done a bit more progress than I have. Like, I should have probably done a bit more research. Oh, no, vultures, vultures. Right, let's take care of these. <laughs> there we go. Let's use my magic projectile thingy. That's such a fun weapon to use. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have done a bit more research. But I always kind of uh, like going in blind and sort of uh, trying to figure things out for myself. And oh, look, I can see where um where Shadow died. I just saw the, the grave just fall down from the, the heavens up over here. <laughs> right, okay, so I've got my, I got my sand on me and my cactuses. And let me see if it will uh, allow me to go and place them down in here somewhere. Um, oh, it looks like a, a bunch of the walls disappeared. Oh, maybe, oh, does the wall need to be gone? Uh, did, will that allow you to place things? That might be it, actually. Maybe you can't place it down when there's a, a wall in the background. Maybe give it a go now, Lee. Maybe try putting the uh, the sunflowers down now and see if it will work. The tree's not grown at all either, I've just noticed. Maybe it's not getting any sun. Maybe it's too dark in here or something it's not growing. Uh, what I am going to do is I'm going to... I get rid of this uh, workbench down here uh, and I'm going to put down a bunch of sand here and hopefully uh, it will allow me to, to grow my cactuses here. So if I just go and put a, a row of sand here and will it, will it allow me to place it please? I know I can't plant it. Oh this has been, this has been ruined. My whole big idea of a big like inside garden has been ruined. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave it for a while and see if this tree is going to grow. And if it doesn't, it doesn't matter because uh, I can just build one from scratch, you know. And it might even be better like that. I'll just use wood and just sort of uh, build my own tree and sort of make it uh, exactly how I like. And then I can have uh, plant pots like this all over the place uh, just to make the um, the place look a bit more gardeny. I already kind of like it. I mean, it's obviously a bit mucked up now. And oh, look, I've got a water bucket. Oh, you can get water buckets. Oh, can I, can I have a little pond down here? Should I, should I give it a go? Should I have a little practice? Practice. Let's try, try just making a little pond down here. I didn't know you could you could gather up water. Right, hopefully this uh, won't all go wrong. Right, let me just try and place the water down here. There we go. Oh, yeah, look, it's just filled up. It's a very, very small pond. Oh, this is cool. Maybe I could then do some of the um the water plants around it. Um, I, th I think I did have some stuff. Like, yeah, like water leaf and that. Maybe I'll be able to place that inside the water or just around the water. Maybe not, maybe not. So what I'm going to do... As I end the video here, I'm going to do a bit of research in terms of how to do uh, plants. I'm going to go through all of your comments, uh, because I'm sure most of you know better than me, and uh, listen to all of your suggestions for uh, other things that I could add in here. Uh, but yeah, as I said, sorry that I didn't get much progress done in this video. Hopefully you still managed to enjoy it anyway. It's all part of the learning progress. It's all part of uh, the process of me learning how to play Terraria. And we're kind of doing it together. I know there's a lot of you that are kind of playing Terraria at the same time as me. So uh, as I learn something, uh, I'll let you know about it. And uh, as you know about all of your stuff, you can please uh, leave me suggestions as well. Uh, so thank you to everyone in my video for helping me out and keeping me amused with your uh, funny jokes. <laughs> I want to thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye!